this isn't working. All right, well, good morning, everybody. We are in Baltimore this morning. Uh, went to Camden last night, which was so great. I wanted to go there for a long time, so I'm really glad got to do it. Right now we have a quick, hopefully, hour-ish uh, to DC from here. And we're gonna wrap up our six games in six days, seeing the Nationals and the Phillies in a late afternoon game, 4.30. So yeah, had a nice morning, kind of walked around the Inner Harbor and got some good coffee saw some dogs and yeah now i'm ready to get down to dc uh i used to live in dc i absolutely love it uh kind of bummed to only have like today in dc so uh, i'm excited to get down there and spend as much time bumming around as i absolutely can all right let's get on the road all right let's get out of here got my little parking pass Hopefully this works. Come on. Well, this isn't working. That was silly. You have to have the, you have to trigger the little magnetic sensors to uh, get out of that garage, which is a bummer because that means a motorcycle probably is never gonna get in or out uh, that way. But we figured it out. We're on our way. I uh, really enjoyed Baltimore. I mean, we kind of stayed in the Inner Harbor, which is like the touristy part of town we I oh there's Camden right there look at that that's fun uh, I stay kind of in the inner harbor touristy area but I kind of walked down in here this morning for coffee and uh, it was nice I think people hate on Baltimore much like people hate on Philly but there's a lot to like here and I think it's like half the price to live here than DC or probably a third the price in New York. So it does have that going for it as well. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. I'm really excited to get down to DC. to get down to the mall a little bit either before or after the game uh, seeing the monuments at sunset is one of the most underrated things to do in this town and every time I'm back I try and do it less hot less crowded and they just they feel a little different at night I think so and I think they keep them lit up till about 10 o'clock these days or at least they used to I'll have to check and see what it is now so Lots of good memories. I remember the first time I took my wife here, we were at a wedding and after the wedding we walked down, we were just walking around the monuments, they're all lit up and it was, it was really special. I love it. Uh, so hopefully we get to do some of that today as well. Well, there's something going on in the mall right now. I'm trying to get down there. There's just fences everywhere, so I guess I know we're gonna go this way a little bit, Let's see if we can't sneak in. All right, talk to some security guys. It looks like it's an R&B festival. A bunch of local artists. It's like a three-day music festival down here on the mall, which is sweet. Uh, does mean we have to basically walk all the way down to the end of the mall here to get on there, but I think it'll be cool and worth it once we get there. So 
like I was saying, if you're not careful, you can be in for quite the walk trying to head down here. And you know what? I was right. <laughs> Well, after all that talk, it turns out a whole bunch of stuff on the mall was closed for that little event that was going on, but it was still a beautiful afternoon to just walk around and see some sights, see some crowds, but you know what? We are only here for one thing, and that's to see a baseball game. Nationals Park was built in 2008 down in the Navy Yard area of Washington, D.C. Officially, it can hold a little bit over 41,000 people. And man, let me tell you, this is one of my favorite ballparks. It just is this big, new stadium, tons of great sidelines. And as luck would have it, we were here on Ryan Zimmerman Day. Ryan Zimmerman was the first player the Washington Nationals ever drafted after moving down from Montreal. And he retired after winning the World Series, only ever playing for the Washington Nationals. So there's a big festivity before first pitch, and the crowd was going to be huge for this rivalry game against the Phillies. Nationals Park is easily in my top five favorite ballparks in all of Major League Baseball. So if you're in DC and you have the time, I absolutely recommend checking a game out here. You will not be disappointed. So yeah, that's it for Washington, D.C. Like a lot of cities, I wish I had a lot more time here to hang out. But you know how it goes. We are now headed south down to Florida. We'll see you next time.